Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Anson. Some of you may also know me as Sly Fox. Yo. <laughs> it's really good to see all of you guys today. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the conference so far. I'm going to be rounding out today's talks with the fourth and probably the most important part of the master plan, decentralization. You've seen this before. Numerai is all about incentives. Users are incentivized to build models with true contribution. And the hedge fund is incentivized to give accurate feedback back to the models. This alignment of incentives between the users and the hedge fund is what makes Numerai work, and it's what, and it's what makes decentralization possible. The job of the underlying staking system is to be a vessel for this incentive mechanism. Invisible infrastructure, always present, but never in the way. We created NMR and the first version of staking back in 2017. In staking 1.0, we introduced the idea of skin in the game. The premise was simple. Stake on your NMR, earn or burn based on your performance. The main challenge, though, was allowing users to stake without having to deal with the issues of actually using the blockchain, paying gas, debugging failed transactions, and storing their private keys. And so we created the user wallet, special NMR addresses on the contract itself to allow Numerai to make transactions on behalf of our users. With staking 1.0, we successfully onboarded many hundreds of users to the blockchain, making NMR one of the most used tokens in the entire crypto ecosystem at that time. In 2019, we created Numerai Compute, a framework to allow users to automate their weekly submissions. And as part of that, Towards our push towards full automation, we launched Staking 2.0, allowing users to stake on their models instead of individual submissions. This unlocked a key user experience we call continuous staking. Instead of manually uploading files every week and having to create a new stake every weekend, users can now upload their models to the cloud, stake on it a single time, and then just sit back, relax, while their earnings compounded over time. We called this Numerai on the weekend. But users were not just sitting back, not just sitting back and relaxing. They were busy. You guys were busy building models. With every new data release, V2, V3, now V4, with every new score, MMC, FNC, and now TC, and with the introduction of signals, users were constantly experimenting with new ideas, creating new models, and staking on them. In fact, as Richard mentioned, since the launch of Staking 2.0, we've seen more than 15x growth in the number of staked models. It's incredible. The main problem with Staking 2.0 is that it was designed for staking on a single model. Transferring NMR between models requires users to first unstake their NMR from the first one and then to restake it on the new one. This process takes over five weeks, and during this time, NMR is just sitting idle, not counting towards any of the payouts. This friction and decreased profitability caused by the delay discourages users from expressing their true confidence through staking. And some poor performing models may have large stakes left in them simply due to inertia. Some new experimental models that may be performing really well may be left understaked. To achieve our goal of being invisible infrastructure in support of this incentive mechanism, we must not let the implementation details of staking get in the way. And to restore this incentive, to restore the alignment of incentives, we must find a way to fix this. There's another problem with staking 2.0, and that is the erasure protocol. We designed the erasure protocol as a general framework for staking. We want it to be maximally modular and maximally extensible so that it can be used for a wide range of use cases, not just Numerai. For example, Erasure Bay, the information marketplace. In one sense, Erasure Protocol was our gift to the broader blockchain community. We wanted to share with everyone everything that we have learned building staking for Numerai and enable others to do the same for their own applications. But by building, on top of, by building Numerai's staking on top of Erasure, we ended up inheriting a lot of features and complexity that we didn't actually need. Ironically, this modularity and this extensibility 
makes it really difficult for anyone outside the Numeri core team to actually understand and build upon our smart contracts. The community marketplace, my favorite, Numer Bay, must settle for integrating with our API instead of our contracts. This is not the way to build open and permissionless systems for the new decentralized future. The Erasure Protocol has served us well, but it's time for us to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, Erasure Protocol, for all that you have done. Working with you now is just not, no longer sparking joy. It's time for us to let you go. <laughs> Goodbye. Staking 3.0 is our next phase, the next phase on the roadmap towards decentralization. First and most important thing is that you will now be able to stake on Numeri with your own wallet, like MetaMask. Taking self-custody of your funds is not only something you do for ideological reasons. It is a major improvement in user experience, giving you a secure and consistent way to interface with all kinds of decentralized applications. I'm so excited for us to be finally supporting this. Second, we'll be launching a new tournament staking contract. By letting go of erasure and by rethinking staking from first principles, we are able to implement an early prototype of this contract in just under 100 lines of solidity. With this new contract, we hope to, for the first time in Numeri's history, unlock a truly open and permissionless building on top of Numeri. Maybe you will integrate with a DeFi protocol like Kashi to get extra leverage. Maybe you will form teams to collaborate and stake together. Maybe you can create a DAO to vote on the next COE election. I can't wait to see what our community comes up with. Finally, we'll be redesigning staking from the ground up, around the account, instead of the single model. With account level staking, you will be able to instantly transfer staked NMR from one model to another. Yes. yes. And instead of having to manage each of your stakes individually, each of your model stakes individually, you will be able to manage your stake across your portfolio of models simply by giving them a percentage allocation of your account's total stake. Finally, you can stop asking me, when stake management? <laughs> stake management is finally here. <laughs> In the new world of staking 3.0, you will no longer be sitting back and relaxing. Instead, you will be in the driver's seat, firmly in control, pressing forward. You will navigate this new and exciting world of decentralization with bulletproof confidence as a sovereign individual. I hope you are as excited as I am about Staking 3.0, and we can't wait to share it with all of you later this year. Thank you so much. Back to you, Richard. That is it, everybody. Um, just a few minutes ago, after I was speaking with Howard, Natasha ran up to me, like tears in her eyes, tears of joy. Uh, she's very so happy with how this event's gone, and she's so uh, she loves the community so much, and and she put this all together really. And uh, she's definitely the the glue the glue of the community. So thank you so much, Natasha. Um, so yeah, well, I just want to summarize. I mean, we've, we, have, uh, we have true contribution, which is going to help incentivize monopolized intelligence. We have 50% more uh, training data coming out in data v4 with the new targets, and some new features as well. Um, Numeri Supreme, people love it. Um, and so I think it's been a great day. And, uh, and I, I was also very, very happy to hear the cheers in the backstage on, on some stake management that's uh, a long requested feature. Um, so thanks a lot, everybody. We're going to go back to the banquet over there. And um, we have a ton of after parties, and I, I'm excited to continue partying with you.